Oh man, it's one of those days where you just get snot off your nose. <laughs> off your nose. Um, baby, we looking good today. It's so cold. The more covered up we are, the, the cleaner better. we look. <laughs> yeah. And that's I, the trick. And I trimmed up, and you did your hair. Look at that. I didn't do it. I just washed it. That's the key that I'm trying to tell her. You don't gotta spend all this time doing your hair. Just wash it, let it dry, and look how good it looks. It mm -hmm. looks like you did it. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but it's cold. It is. I've always enjoyed Danielle in a beanie and all bundled up. Um, you just have this this vibe. Yeah, what's the vibe? Beautiful. Um, <laughs> so, we're staring at a awesome, awesome thing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, very pumped. This is a late, really late, m way more than normal late video. Uh, we spent this morning... Uh, at Lowe's. Yeah. Um, it lasted a little longer than we expected, but hey, I think we have everything. Um, so Danielle doesn't know this yet, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get a video out today. So we might go live tonight. Um, it's cold. It's in the 40s, so tonight it's gonna dip down, especially around 7 p.m. So, if we go live, we'll have a nice fire going. We'll get it all. Are we doing it outside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting a fire going, baby. I'll get the fire in the camper going. Hey, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> yeah. The electric. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get that fire burning. You did the good voice crack there. That wasn't a crack. That oh. was a tone shift. Oh, you did a nice tone shift fire there. Fire burning. <laughs> Job. It didn't crack. That's what you know. What I'm saying <coughs> you're making but, fun of me. So I just I'm 40. My voice don't crack. Um, I just ordered us some bibs, overalls, yes, co coveralls. As you guys know, my extra small ones, they're not gonna fit anymore. Roof, yo, hey, roof, roof, roof. So ordered some Ariat. Rufio's trying to walk through the electric fence. He still has not figured that out. Rufio! He, he's no. just very big head, no thoughts. And then he acts like, wait, did what? somebody say something? He's literally the most big head, no thought dog ever. <laughs> he's still a kid. He's still <laughs> Rufio, no. He needs his own show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, we are, I wish someone would have warned us that winter was coming. Um, I wouldn't Nobody have warned us this year. No, I wouldn't have believed y'all anyways because uh, just until like two weeks ago, we were in 70s and 80s. Yeah. And it finally hit. Oh, hey, now that you have building supplies, how about we'll just ruin that with cold weather. Um, <sighs> and go. dipping down into freezing temps now. So, luckily, our dogs are all in a uh, doghouse together. And they stay warm. The body heat, but I think we're at the point where <clears throat> we might need to block part of it. Um, it's the wind. The wind is what's really bad. So we're going to line it with some straw. Yeah, we'll do uh, some modifications to it, make sure they're winter ready. I told Danielle I'd like to put a heat lamp, but she gets real nervous with that. Um, it is a metal building, so I think it'd be all right. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I get nervous with heat lamps and yeah I know that's what they're for and everything but if yeah. I don't know that would, the out the bad possibility of that just the fact that they're locked me. up and can't get out yeah it would not be great but we'll figure it out we'll we'll come up with something um but uh <clears throat> again unfortunately I don't think you guys will get a video today uh this might be the only video y'all get today unless we go live later um just running around errands getting stuff and then uh yesterday you spent a little time with your family mm -hmm. uh towards the end of the day and so um we're uh we're doing what we can and we want to knock it out as good as we can uh but also this is something danielle doesn't like about me she loves it uh she she loves it later but not right now is uh the project and what we're doing we've kind of upped the ante a little bit <laughs> Every and, project. Yeah, we kind of upped it a little bit. It's anytime we're uh, doing something, Jason's mine, which 
you gotta respect it. it goes, How can we make this better? Because, yeah, just some way to make it better, to improve it. And in my head, I'm just more of like, well, I want to hurry and get it done. Yeah. Or how much is it going to cost yeah, and, and how it, long is this going to take? Yeah, and it's just so much more work. And what do I say? It won't take long. What happens? It I takes get it long. done instantly. <laughs> uh, but it's just like future. So you are you think of the future more so and I'm more of like in the in moment the yeah. person. I'm like, well, in the now, I want, I'd rather it done. Yeah, but I'm like, but if this future, is going to be our forever thing then let's make it the best we can now i don't want to have to do more later i don't want to have to redo it or or modify it later or whatever let's just let's just do this um now that is something i think everybody deals with as far as like say you want to build a tiny house and you're like well if i go an extra two feet out um we'll be able to have a little more room because the counter space won't be taking up the that hot, next thing the you know that two feet is turned 20. into yeah it just it's very easy once you start a little bit here yeah. a little bit there that little bit turns into more and more and more and next thing you know you bit off more than you can chew and then it's out of control uh, but what we're doing now i think we've honestly met in the middle um with everything here we've we've done it where we were doing bigger ideas bigger things we had a lot more land we had different vision uh jared was up here there were three people there was just a lot more to it and then being here uh we definitely want things to be as good as we can but we also don't want it to be too big too bold too much to where we can't handle so um knowing that and knowing um from past experiences what it takes to do something learning different skills stuff like that there are things that we're like okay we can go a little bit bigger a little bit better a little bit bolder mm -hmm. but let's think about it and then let's bring it back yeah. a hair which is jason's thing if you guys don't know this is if you want something bad enough to make it happen so even if it is like going bigger a lot more this that whatever yeah it's like but we could do it yeah that's like and it's always i know we can but it's just out now yeah so <laughs> speaking of if you want something bad enough i literally thought about this yesterday so well <laughs> you see band <laughs> that was cute we only have a. Uh, we only had our the truck out here because we were going back and forth and we don't want to drive two vehicles so um unfortunately last week um we really started noticing the back tire getting flat and we thought oh it's just getting cold the it's starting to you know runner yeah the forerunner hey low rider you have to uh put air everyone knows that um but it went like completely flat and we brought our air compressor and everything we brought a little air compressor and all that well the chuck on it was messed up so then we put a new one on well the chuck ended up not fitting the hose and i'm just like oh because we were in town i already knew um we were gonna have to like air it up to find the hole to put the soapy water then you're gonna lose air and then you're gonna have to air it back up then you have to plug it then you're gonna have to air it, back air it up. up so that wasn't working and i was like i'm not running all the way to the store to get a little pump because we don't really need one. I don't want to have to do all this stuff. And so, uh, why is Packer doing that? He just laying on his back like yeah. that. <laughs> um, but uh, I was like, all right, either I had to spend all of this time going back, looking for a pump, getting the right things, hopefully all this stuff, or I could go in the garage and I know there is a bike air pump just the ones you stand on it you know and so i was just like and this tire was completely flat oh yeah like to the was, bottom there was yeah, nothing in it on the rim and so i was just like and then you were taking a shower if, if anytime we go to the house if we're there we're getting materials to go to the house whatever you always take a shower not yeah. you but us yeah. but we just that's just a rule take a good hot shower now because it could be as long as you want yeah do well, your hair the pressure yes yeah, the water pressure yeah so, um, 
I'm out there, Danielle comes out, and I already found one hole, and I'm like, all right, got it plugged. I was like, oh, no, there's another one. And she's like, oh, wait, the one I saw was over here, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, because it took a while for the bubbles to start. It was just small enough to lose air, and uh, so I just sit there with a bike pump and just just do it, and we got it. We got it um, enough. We got it to like 20-something PSI where 22. It's, you could definitely drive on it, uh, take it to the store, and air it up and stuff, so... If you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. And I did that, and that was so you could go to your yeah. family, um, hang out with them and stuff. And then I ended up getting building materials and all that, and then we ended up coming back. So um, uh, it ended up working out. But it was one of those, it's kind of like a laughable thing, like, of course it didn't work. But you can either get mad and upset, or you can laugh at it and be like, how do I figure this out? So everything that we're doing here, that's kind of our whole mentality of been there, done that, all right. We want to go big, big, grand, but let's do it on a small scale. Let's bring it back. Okay, something's going to happen. Let's figure it out. And uh, there's been multiple things already, back to building, things not working, whatever. But um, we're getting it. We're figuring it out. And um, I'm very happy so far, very happy with the progress we're making. And uh, I think you guys are as well. Once you see it, you're going to be pumped. Um Having everything we need to just work is amazing. Uh, so yeah. amazing. Everything may not work, but at least we have it. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it feels amazing, and it felt great. And um, uh, this is not our first rodeo building stuff, nothing like that. So it is easier for us to do stuff. It is. We're still learning along the way. We're doing new things or whatever. But it is easier if I'm working and Danielle... Uh, it's like, okay, well, I know he's going to need screws on this one. You already had the screws I needed, the mount, and the drill, so I'm not up and down the ladder. You knew, okay, now it's going to be the uh, uh, air compressor, um, so we can put nails in. It's going to be this, and, and picking up boards, and I mean, just everything. It's, it, it's so much smoother now because we've already been through it all, and we kind of understand what's happening and what we need. Um, but you know what's going to be more better? Is Friday when our area bibs, insulated bibs come in? Oh, just move around, baby. Get that. Get that. No. Get that. <laughs> um, there... It's more of my legs than anything. Yeah, and those, these aren't a sponsored thing. This is a we true. Just we just bought it, and they're the best. And so I'm excited yeah. about that. Well, the good thing to stay warm. Well, the good thing too is you stay warm, but going in the camper you take the bibs off and all the dirt and everything stays outside then you actually have clean clothes on underneath um, you know. and then you can just like in and out without tracking in too I mean we probably have to sweep 10 pounds of dirt yeah 10 pounds of dirt every day and it's and not it's, because we're like purposely tracking in or doing anything it's just yeah. it's on you and then as yeah. soon as you go in we have this much room to walk and it's just like a sand pit every day. It's crazy. Do you remember the first thing you told me about wearing insulated bibs? Uh, no, but I would say maybe if you had to poop or pee. I don't <laughs> Having know. kind of close. You just warned me. You said if you fart in these. Oh, it just gets stuck and come on up. <laughs> it gets trapped in there. Did, um, are you reminiscing on your, your hot farts? Keep your legs warm until it comes back up to top. That's why you that gotta wear stuff funny. like this and then cinch it up. <laughs> it it ain't coming up here, boys. <laughs> it's true, though. Is it not true? I've n I don't oh, know. she I almost tested it, but it just was funny. It was just a funny thing. But it's true. Any of y'all out there wearing uh, bibs, overalls, all that, y'all know. <laughs> Traps it in there. Toot it up. It'll be warm for a little while, then you're going to smell it. But, hey, it's the price you pay for comfort. So... <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and jump off here. Um, we do appreciate all watching, especially these later ones. Um, yeah. But it, it's it's beyond me why anyone watches, but throughout the day, mm -hmm. even if we post it late, y'all watch, so we appreciate it. Um, we might go live tonight, depending on how we feel, how cold it's getting, yeah. uh, all that. But we'll try to get a fire going and stay warm and all that, and we'll. The internet probably won't even work good enough, but maybe now with Starlink up and everything's dead, uh, we might have a clear view. Um, we'll test it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but that, e even if we only go live for a little bit. It's not, people like to say, the trees aren't dead. They're, they're hibernating. 
I already forgot what the term is. They're, uh, yeah, I can't think off the top of my head. Going in a recession. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. It starts with an R. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I can't think right now, but. If you made it this far, <laughs> comment down below what it is. Yeah, recession. We're not in a recession. We might be. I don't know. Uh, but, <laughs> anywho, we're going to get to building. Appreciate you guys. And, uh, you guys will get a building video. And then you'll get another one, and another one, and another one, because we are pumped, and we are doing it, and I'm so excited. And just what we were able to accomplish in one day yesterday just, like, lets me know we got this. We truly got this. We're making great progress. And the fact that we are dreaming big but dialing it in, it lets me know that there is um, hope that maybe someday we'll get something done. Someday, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, bye!